I'll be showing how to use the new transcribe feature in Microsoft Word. And this is great if you're doing interviews or other types of research and talking to someone else. So I'm going to switch to Teams because oftentimes right now any interviews are done over Teams. So I'm here with Jessica and I'm going to interview Jessica from the Contoso company. And she's on Teams and we're going to have a little conversation. Now I'm in Word for the web and I'm on the home tab here and I'm going to go way over on the right to the dictate button and drop it down and there's a choice called transcribe. This pane opens and as I start my interview with Jessica, what I'll do first is start recording. It'll record my voice as well as her voice coming through my speakers on Teams. So I'll click this. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. You're welcome. I'm happy to have the opportunity. Could you start off by telling me a bit about your organization? I work for the community and employee engagement team at Contoso and I'm excited to share the projects we've been working on more publicly at Contoso. Okay, interview's done. I'll click Save and Transcribe Now, which will start the process of uploading to OneDrive and transcribing. Now you can see it's captured both myself and Jessica speaking back and forth in our entire dialogue. I can change this right here. It just says Speaker 2 and Speaker 1. I'm going to make all of Speaker 2, that's me, say Mike and choose Change All of These and hit OK. And for Jessica, I will go and change all of hers to Jessica. And I'll click that. Now it's really easy to tell exactly who is talking. I can also click on a specific part of audio in the timestamp like here and here the part. You're welcome. I'm happy to have the opportunity. I could go down here and click on 27. That sounds interesting. Can you elaborate on that? So that allows me to skip through and listen to different parts of that interview. I could even change the speed if I want to speed it up and hit 1.5 speed like that. Exactly what the community education effort is. So it's really easy to have these types of manipulations from your interview. Now at the bottom here, you can see add all to document. And if I click this, the entire transcript's added. It even adds the audio file right here. Now this audio file is stored in OneDrive and I can access that directly. If I click this link, it'll take me right to that file. And there's the audio file right in OneDrive. It also puts these all into a documents folder that gets created. You can see transcribed files right here. I drill in and I can see the different transcriptions that I've already had. I can also add just a piece of that interview. Maybe I don't want to add the whole thing. So you can see there's a little plus next to each chunk here. If I click plus, maybe I just want to add that part of the Jessica interview and I just inserted that right onto the page and I don't need the entire thing. The last thing I'll show is the ability to upload existing audio files you have. Now if I go over here on the transcribe tab again and I click upload audio, it lets me choose an MP4 file. I'll select this. Right now we only support English and we only support 200 megabyte uploads total, but we hope to expand that capability in the future. Also, we support MP4, MP3, WAV, and MP4A file types. And that has uploaded my MP4 interview into OneDrive and you can see Word has transcribed it right here as well. And just like before, you can see the different speakers. I could change the speaker names. I could also go here and edit the transcription. So if there was an error in the transcription, I could go edit it and tweak it myself. So that is a quick demo of both the record the audio and transcribe as well as upload and maybe an older MP4 that you had of an old interview or old audio and also get that transcription feature. This is out in Microsoft Word for the web today.